babe. Hey. We're matching today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at us. You can't see us while we're looking. Okay. Yeah, I feel good. I did a little bit of work on the weekend to like... Catch up, didn't you? Catch up and I feel amazing for it. Just done the weekly meeting, done the quiz. Everyone seems in good spirits. Had a good sales week last week. It'll be weird going back into the office. So weird. That beautiful new office. Oh. Get out that you're in for 30 days. I saw this great piece of content over the weekend which shows that basically all adverts at this point uh, by brands look and sound the same. I think it's crying out for somebody to do something a bit different. Um, it's a route that a lot of people have gone down. You know, it does provoke an emotional reaction, which is one of the main things that you're aiming for with any creative concept. But it's whether that emotional reaction actually translates to a tangible result. It's great that, you know, Facebook have done this lovely moving advert, but is it gonna get people to use Facebook more? It's like there are so many tradespeople going out and risking their health every day to do things like build the Nightingale hospitals, and it's just not particularly recognised or lauded by the media so in that very specific instance and sector I do feel like there is a space for brands to do something that is that little bit more emotional and moving. So I'm Jamie Alkins I'm here today with the wonderful George Smith. Hello! I'll let George introduce himself. Uh, hi I'm uh, George Smith I recently cut my hair I'm growing a moustache but I haven't had a breakdown. So I got a bit bored while in quarantine so I thought it'd be good to catch up and get to know my co-workers a bit better so what better way to get to know your co-workers than go on a date with them? I would like to know what your favourite hobby is. I do like cooking. Cook you a good curry, mate. Mm. You know, I'll brown off some onions, I'll get the ginger and I'll get the garlic and I'll put it all together and I'll sling it up you. Yeah. I've got a question for you. Go on, hit me with your question. What is um, top five things that you can't live without? Oh, okay. So this isn't any in any order. Yeah. I don't think. This. What's that? My earpods, say laptop and phone and all that. I'll do that as a as a combined, a combined technology. So my technology. Uh, app wise, my fitness pal, because I'm tracking what I'm eating and I'm becoming a bit obsessed with that, which I is I know, good. it's driving me mad. Uh, so I'm enjoying that. Slack, like, without a doubt. I wouldn't Thanks, be able to, I'd be struggling without you at the minute, wouldn't I? Hey here to talk Good about months. the Lighthouse Charity. So the Lighthouse Club Charity are a construction specialist charity that look after all tradeswomen and men. So tell us about what kind of content we're creating for them. Um, so we did a live show. Um, we did a live show on Friday, which was like a quiz to raise some money. Also going to be doing like a VA, which is just to kind of give some more sort of background. It's all well and good sort of us saying, oh, I donate to the charity, but people need to know what they're donating for. You know, this is a community that, you know, they really are the backbone of the country. We wouldn't be able to go to work if there wasn't the people in the construction industry to build our offices, to do the road works and yeah, they need support. If you could have an ideal like date, what would it be? Well, one of my first dates, what I did, um, I could take you to um, Tamworth Snow Dome. We could go ice skating. Yeah, well, uh, and then whilst we're going round, I would kind of very gingerly, but um, you know, uh, quite pressingly, try and hold your hand as we go round. And that was, I think, I did that I was maybe 14. Pretty much dined out on that for about the next <laughs> two and a half weeks um, until inevitably the text stopped and uh, you know, I was left with my own hands for uh, company. FIFA 20. I'm enjoying that. Not had a PlayStation since, I'm, I don't know, for about a decade. Oh, I know what. What? My Wi-Fi tower. Because uh... that's, that's changed my life. Uh, but they're my five things, if you can like try and shorten those down, Jamie. Steve, even. Um, and at the end of it, Steve, I want you to do this. I want you to just provide some fireworks out of my hands, please. <laughs> and then it says, these five things. Just to give you something to do, you know. <laughs> I'm, I want to get deep now, like deep into George in as many ways as possible. Uh, okay. I want to figure out what motivates you. What motivates me, Jamie? Um, I love it when you get that feeling when, uh, like that cheesy catchphrase of like when a plan comes together, but 
the feeling of when like as a team you kind of pull something out of the bag particularly under some like difficult circumstances mm. i.e. at the moment it's pretty hard work you'll know this doing the bloody vlog we, we've still managed to do some really good stuff at the moment and there's been some days well, I've just thought, you know what, I'm proper proud that we've like um, actually managed to pull some of the things out. Babe, stand up so we can see our outfits properly in the mirror. Ugh. What a pair of wallies. Oh, they're not that similar. Oh, no, they are. Well, if I had blue jeans on or shorts or something, it would look really good, wouldn't it? Oh, I'll cut your head off. Oh. No, I haven't now. I'll put it back in. Oh. <laughs> it's because I couldn't see myself in the mirror. Yeah, I can see you. Oh. Yeah. I've seen you at... Uh, Raves, I've seen you like you can you can pull those moves out, baby. But can you spit bars? Of course, I can spit bars, Jamie. Who, who are you talking to, mate? Uh, what do you want? Do you want an eight? Do you want a 16? Do you want a 32? I need a little beat. I'm gonna have to just uh, no, I'm gonna have to make it up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sat in my dining room waiting for the party to go boom. I'm sitting here with some tricks. I just had an eat of a little Twix. There is the rapper. I'm a rapper. In a minute, I'll go to the crapper. That was mad. I love it. Wow. I mean, I've already embarrassed myself countless times on this vlog, so why stop there?